I'm going to show you how to use the Format Painter functionality from Excel. This is a pretty useful tool that we can use to copy the styles from one cell and apply it to another cell or to a group of cells. So to identify this button, you have to go to the Home tab over here and identify it under the Clipboard group. It is this button over here with the paintbrush and the text Format Painter. We can use Format Painter to copy styles which uh, can include fonts, font sizes, background colors, colors. Uh, we can use it to copy date formats, we can use it to copy currency formats, and we can use it to copy more complicated conditional formatting as well. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use this, uh, this button. Right, to start I'm going to style column A, cell A1 over here, I'm going to apply a custom style from here, it doesn't really matter which one, and I'm going to make the text bold, and I'm going to increase it to 13, and maybe add some border as well, let's add thick borders, okay. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to copy the styling from here, and I'm going to apply it to the other uh, column headers over here, column B1 and C1. So to use Format Painter, you just have to first select the cell that contains the styling that you want to apply to other cells, and go to Home, go to Format Painter. Next, Excel is going to copy the, the styling from here, and uh, the cursor is going to change to this paintbrush with uh, a cross, and next you have to apply it to the cells that you would like to have styled. And we're going to select B1 and C1, and when we release the mouse, the styling has been applied. Next, we are going to use this functionality to format the dates that we have in column A. Let's currently we have this format, but we would like to have a long date format. So to do this, we're going to go to number and date and select long date from here and now let's make this uh, italic and let's add a color to it mm, something like this and next i'm gonna select this cell that has been styled click on format painter and we just add the styling like that as you can see we do the formatting once and then we apply it to all the cells. Next, let's see how we can format some numbers. Uh, on column B we have total sales and uh, this should be a currency value. Let's add some decimal points like that and let's say that this is US dollar. To select US dollar we have to go to currency and identify the US dollar from here, click on OK. Next, we have the cell formatted, so we're gonna click on Format Painter and we're gonna apply the styling to the other cells. As you can see, pretty easy and pretty simple to copy uh, some basic uh, styling from one cell to another. Next, let's do some more complicated stuff. We have uh, on column C we have a daily difference. This is the daily difference between day one and day two. And currently it is a percentage that is stored as a decimal point number. So we're gonna transform it to a percentage by clicking on the percent style from here. And we're gonna add two decimal points. And what we want to do, we want uh, cells to be formatted with red if uh, the value is negative and formatted with green is the if the value is positive. So to do this we're going to use the conditional formatting from here, we're going to apply some some rules, we'll say that um, if, the, if the value is greater than zero then it should be it should be formatted with green fill with dark green text, click on OK and if the cell value is less than zero, we're gonna put light red fill with dark red text, 
and now we can see that uh, the cell has been formatted correctly if we change the value to a positive value like 2 we're gonna see it with green okay and now let's apply the styling to the other cells in column C to do this click on C3 click on format painter and select the cells that you would like to style and that's it this is how we do it this is how you use format painter from Excel you identify it under the home you select the cell that contains the styling click on format painter and then you select the cells or the cell that you have to that you want to copy and paste the styling to right that's it for this video now you know how to use format painter and if you learn something new please like the video or if you have any questions please leave them down below